And here in central Indiana, but we had such thick fog this morning. A lot of schools had a delay the start of classes. Should be okay for tomorrow, though. Yes, I think if we have any delays, it'll be a few. Not as widespread as this morning, and I also think we get a repeat of today's sunshine tomorrow afternoon as well, with temperatures back into the upper 50s and low 60s. We are concerned with the fog, but unlike last night, this won't be as widespread. We do have dense fog advisories, Peru, Marion, Gas City, and another one from Richmond, south to Connersville into Brookville. We do have the lowest visibilities now, mainly north and east of Indianapolis. In McCordsville, down to two miles. Marion, three quarters of a mile. Muncie, down to a quarter mile visibility. Logansport, a mile and a half. Frankfurt, you've dropped to a quarter mile visibility. So, still some thick fog in the forecast overnight and first thing tomorrow morning. Just won't be as widespread as it was this morning. We've dropped to 44 degrees after highs today in the 60s. Winds are northeast at 10 miles per hour. Relative humidity at 79%. 30s to the north, still hanging on to 52 south in Bedford, 50 degrees in Bloomington. But we have 33 in Marion, 36 degrees in Muncie and in Richmond, and we are concerned with the temperatures in those areas that have fog. We may actually get a few patches of freezing fog and some slick roads. First thing tomorrow morning, Chuck Lofton is back on sunrise. It begins at 4 a.m. After that chilly start and somewhat foggy start, we'll have some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures rebound into the low 50s by lunchtime, and we're forecasting highs upper 50s, low 60s tomorrow afternoon, 61 in Indianapolis and Rushville, Nashville at 62, Peru and Muncie 59, and Richmond a high of 57 degrees. Tomorrow will be a dry day. It'll be late tomorrow night into Friday that rain chances return, and we are concerned with some lowland flooding, saturated ground due to snow melt and rain this week. We also have river flood warnings that continue for parts of the Wabash, the White, the East Fork of the White. Heavy rain is possible, especially across the southern half of the state on Friday. Right along Interstate 70, inch, inch and a half to the south, maybe an inch and a half or two. A weather system we're going to track closely for the end of the week. Set to arrive late Thursday night, early Friday morning. Anytime after midnight, rain will be possible. A rainy Friday in the forecast from the morning commute on, and some of that rain could be heavy at times. It does move out by the end of the weekend, and despite the clouds and the rain chances, Friday a high of 53, 55 after after a soggy start, should dry out Saturday afternoon, 55 degrees. End of the weekend, some sunshine and 55, 65 on Monday. That'll be the warmest over the next seven days as a cold front brings cooler air toward the middle part of next week.